Hi, it's Chris Watkin here, and I'm with Ross Lindsay, who used to run the business generation department for one of London's biggest estate agents, and now has set up in the summer of 2020 by himself to uh, do outsource business generation for estate agents and letting agents in the UK. Ross, uh, thank you for joining me today. You. Um, your firm, yourleadin.co.uk, tell me a bit about it and what it does for estate agents. <laughs> Is exactly what you said. It's a business generation team. Um, what it does, it allows independent estate agents or chains of estate agents to have their own call centre. Um, we white label ourselves so that we can act as if we are them, um, and all intents and purposes to anyone on the other end of the phone would think that we are actually that estate agent. But it just gives other agents the opportunity to have a call centre. Why don't estate agents do it themselves? The estate agent is really busy. Um, especially in the market that we're in at the moment, it's getting busier and busier. Um, and it, it's more a case of us providing support for the estate agents. Um, and the things that they're doing on a reaction, reactive basis, so we're just going to help them sweep up after them, if you like, supporting them, the, the bits that they may have dropped behind. I mean, um, you, as I said, you worked for one of the biggest estate agents um, in London. What sort of um, business were you able to get for them? in terms of uh, numbers or pound notes, only if you can say that, you know. Yeah, um, the, the last year alone, 2019, we generated over 8,000 valuations in that year um, and added for uh, 3.9 million pounds worth of income to the bottom line of all the branches. I'm with you. So you're basically going to be an outsourced business generation unit for estate agents. Yeah. Um, how does that exactly look? Are you chasing old valuations? Are you chasing applicants or, or, or the above? It's a mixture of both. If we get the opportunity, we'll chase um, applicants, but generally we're looking at valuations that have been carried out already, uh, lost instructions, withdrawn. So we'll just keep the ball bouncing with those people and continue to talk to them and make sure that we keep the lines of communication open. Why do you think estate agents aren't very good, at, especially valuers and listers, not very good at keeping in contact with these people? I think there's a lot of reasons. I think one of them, like everyone, they don't like the rejection. So the, the longer it goes on that someone's calling someone, the more likely you are to get rejected by them. So it's, a, it's, a, it's just they're reacting to the stuff that's happening instantly. Because let's be honest, they're, they're all busy at the moment, really, yeah. like headless chickens. So exactly. They, exactly. Yeah, they haven't got time to be ringing Mrs. Miggins, who they went to value four years, four months ago. Yeah. Um, it's interesting, when, when I started this, uh, the, the initial model was to go and say, right, we can help you, we can gain more instructions for you by making lots of calls and, uh, and, and really helping them in a, in a quieter market. But in actual fact, what's happened now is people are saying to us, we really need your help because we're so busy. So we're missing opportunities that we need somebody else to clear up on because we're so busy doing their day-to-day -day reactive work. Um, a lot of people watching this will worry that um you know that how can you be the voice of the firm to get the tone of how people do how do you how do you marry that one up um, we spend a lot of time with the agents when we start out with a new clients so we'll go and meet with them we have regular meetings the the team my team will meet their team we'll spend time in their offices we get an understanding of what they are so we'll learn a cv from the branch managers how long have they been in the area all those kinds of things and, and learn a bit about the area as well so that we can be, have that conversation if someone's asking us questions about what's the branch manager like, how long have they been there, what's the staff profile, we can answer all those questions as if we were there. And how do estate agents know that the notes are being put on? Do you, do you have a separate system that you, or do you have access to their CRM systems? We, we access directly into their CRM system so we update theirs and that's the beauty of what we're doing as well because all of the time we're helping them, we're cleaning up their systems, we're adding more notes to it. Um, and that's what that's how we survive by having those notes that we can go back to and say right I know I've spoken to that person a month ago now I'm going to talk to them again and if we don't have those notes if we don't update the system our job becomes harder and harder so how does someone in the branch know you know it's a mystery person put the name on do you, you know like floss or I don't know who floss is how do you have like a system to ensure that the people know that it's you guys that are updating the notes yeah, so as you put a note in, it will be registered to us. So it will say, Ross put a note on this system on this day, on this time. So everything's recorded. So even if it was you put a note on the system, I could go to a client and say, oh, good afternoon, you spoke to Chris last week. However, I'm Ross and I'm going to be taking you through this journey. So we'll always refer back to those notes as well. It's a really important part of the estate agent is to make sure that you've got those notes on there. Okay, but what happens if you're ringing out from your office in wherever you are in London, um, 
What about the number coming through to the person? How does that work out? Yeah. You know. So we've got the, the telephone system we've got allows us to telephone out on a certain number to make it look as if we're phoning from the actual branch. It's a slightly different number to the branch, but certainly the, the code is correct and the first two numbers will be the right numbers. Um, and the same when they're coming in, if that person returns the call, it will phone that. It will look as if it's phoning into that office, so we can answer the phone. It's your lady in Chertsey, for instance, or Egham, wherever that happened, the call happens to be coming in from. So, if one of your uh, people who does the business generating rings someone out, that what, they will ring back the number, and it comes back through to you or to the branch. Through to us. Through to you. Yeah. And you'll deal with it, so, and then basically package it up. So basically, it's pre-packed valuations, isn't it? Yeah. What you're saying. We get right to the point. We'll actually book it into the the diary of the estate agent, uh, and then they'll get notified. So we'll email them. It will be on their CRM system as well. Um, but actually, it's booked straight into their diary, and then we'll have a follow-up call with the estate agent as well, just to let you know. Book you in. And and are you paid on success or 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 or, or a retainer or a bit of both? Uh, we've got two models. One is on instruction, so we, we charge on the instruction, and the other ones we charge on a completion, whether that be lettings or sales. And just just so everyone's aware, Ross, how much have you paid me to do this video for you today? I haven't paid you anything yet. You're no. not going to ask me for some money, are you? No, I'm not going to ask you for anything. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. I think it's important that, I mean, boys and girls out there in the state agency land, that I, I came across Ross 12, 18 months ago. I was really impressed with his operation. And now, like an awful lot of people out there, he decided that he wanted to set up by himself and actually uh, get the benefits and the fruits of his labour. So um, I wish you well in your, in your approach. I Thank know you. that, you, as I said, you left a very large estate agency chain and now you took all that knowledge and all that passion. Um, and as I said, it's not, it takes a lot to impress me, but I was very impressed when I went to see these guys. Thanks. So uh, this new operation will be absolutely fantastic. So check Ross out. It's Ross Lindsay, R Lindsay with an A and uh, you'll, you'll be absolutely fine with him. Thank you very much. Thank you.